What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Charged Stone Cave. That was a... Well, yeah, that was a bit of a pickle right there. That was a lot. But we did get to evolve one of our Pokemon. Uh, we got to evolve Magneton into Magnezone, and now... We got a choice right here. We are in Mistralton City, guys. Now, you can go and battle the Mistralton City gym leader. Uh, what was her name again? Skyla? Or you could go to the uh, Celestial Tower and, and and see what Professor Juniper is all uh, is doing. And, uh, well, I checked out the whole thing with the whole uh, battle, gym battle and all that stuff. Yeah, I am not ready for that because, well, look at my Pokemon right now. Look at my team. Just look at them. Pathetic. Yeah, I got two Pokemon at level 36. We need to train up our Pokemon because, well, she is going to mop the floor with us. So here we are in Route 7, ready to just mop the floor with every single one of these guys right here. And, uh, well, yeah, I'm, like, I'm literally talking to these people just so I can start battling because, well, huh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Skyless Pokemon, it's only three Pokemon, but they're always so good. You got a level 30, two level 37 Pokemon and level one level 39. I think it's time for us to do a little training so the gym battle can wait. Can it? Can it wait? Can it wait? I don't know. We shall find out. So here we go. Taking on another Ducklet right here. And Jesus, why is this turning? I don't know. So that was a critical hit right there, and uh, we get some more experience points. And, well, here comes a Tranquil, so let's go ahead and go to our strengths. Let's go to Magneto, since it evolved in the last episode. Anywho, guys, um, bit of a thing right here. Just want to break, just want to, just uh, say, I just want to get it out there before you find out, um, eventually. But I am... Like, there is, there has been a lot going on in uh, my personal life, and there has been a lot going on, uh, every, every, and like, in everything else, you know. I, as many of you guys notice, I've been taking quite a few breaks here and there. Not necessarily burnout, not a lot of, uh, this and that, it's just that, you know, I do have to condense the, the videos that I put out there. And I know that I've, I've done a lot of walkthroughs, and I, and, and I'm at that attitude right now where, like, I think I can do everything. But really, I can't. I have to just really focus on... Oh, wow. Yeah, I really have to focus on the walkthroughs that I'm currently doing. You know, I, you know, you, you know how... Uh, what was it called? Uh, you guys already know how I am and all that stuff. Now, again, there are two Pokeballs right here. One is a go or a Fungus, and the other one is the actual item. So let's grab this. This is the Zinc. A good item that we can actually have. Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and battle. But like, like I was saying, guys, I am a little bit of a, you know, uh, I think I can, like, I have that attitude where I think I can do everything. I can finish off everything all in one fell swoop, but then when it finally gets to me, when it starts getting harder and harder, then that's when, yeah, that's when, that's when it starts showing. And as of lately, it's it's it has been showing. It really has been showing, and um, it's more. It, I'm having that attitude where now I have to really cut back on the walkthroughs that I do. I really have to cut back on uh, a lot of things. That way, I can keep my sanity just a little bit. Because uh, believe it or not, guys, it has been getting a little a little bit harder for me to post up videos here and there, uh, getting things completed and all that crap, and. Uh, I, I would have to say this, that yes, um, this is one of the main games, including Pokemon Sword. So, I, I, I have to focus on those two walkthroughs, including, in, like, it, it, just because, you know, that, that's where I'm committed at and all that stuff. Don't necessarily want to, like, root, like, rip my hair out just because, well, you know, I'm doing this walkthrough, I'm doing that walkthrough. It's, it's kind of that attitude right now. I know that, um... I know that eventually we'll get back to the other... Oh, wow, seriously? I know that we'll get back to the other walkthroughs, but, uh... Yeah, it's looking like that... I, it's looking like I have to cut back down on some of the walkthroughs that I'm doing. And I, I know what I'm saying it. I know I'm saying it right now, and then eventually I'll go back to other walkthroughs, but... That's kind of the attitude right here. Because, uh... Well, you know, again, time is of the essence. Don't necessarily have a lot of time for myself. Uh... So, I kind of just want to make time, and 
Well, if I don't want to burn out, I gotta, I gotta cut back down, a, cut, cut back down on a few things. That way, this doesn't get, you know, th this doesn't become a job for me. You know what I mean? So, after I would have to say, after the diamond, uh, brilliant diamond episode that I have, I'm just gonna solely focus on this. But on the back side, I'm going to keep on, you know, building up episodes for brilliant diamond. That way, I can get it all out in one. Thought swoop. I'm not gonna post them up just yet, but I'm still gonna, you know, try and complete the whole walkthroughs and all that stuff. And here we have the cross chain receiver, and we're getting a, a message from this uh, Yancey lady. Hi, is this Draven? That's your hobby, Draven. I see. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I should take it up too. Oops, my colleague is calling me. I have to go back to work. Talk to you again. Again, if you guys don't remember, we, we collected this cross transceiver a while back over at uh, some place. Now, if you go into this house right here, you will be able to find somebody that wants to trade a Gigalith for an Emolga. Now, I don't think I have an Emolga, but we can actually try. And, yeah, we don't have an Emolga. The, the, they don't check our PC or anything, but this is a place where you can actually try and... You can actually find an Emolga or a, a Gigalith. Now, if you guys don't know, you can't actually you can't get a Gigalith anywhere. Uh, you actually have to evolve its pre-evolve form. Like, you have to trade it. It's kind of like a... What was it? A Geodude and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And let's go with Budkiss. Big booty Budkiss. And let's go ahead and give it a big booty uh, beat up right here. We go three against three in triple battles. Are you ready? I am. Oh, crap baskets. Did not fix that up. Okay, so... Another thing, too. Like, if you guys want to get a small insight of what is currently going on... It's very, very simple, guys. I have a... I am currently coaching a full-on schedule. I am, uh, let's see, hold on. I'm currently, uh, yeah, I'm just doing a lot when it comes to football, uh, graphic arts, and work. And, you know, one of the biggest things as an adult is that you guys have to, like, really, really, you, you really have to prioritize your time to things that you actually make you happy or do or make you money or something like that. And right now, there's quite a few things that it's, that it's currently going on that, you know, it's currently making make money. It's currently making me money, so I have to push other things to the side. So that's currently what's going on right now, guys. Nothing too serious. Not leaving anywhere, not burning out, not losing my passion to actually do walkthroughs right here. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of money just to to upgrade the whole like the whole shebang right here with my stuff. And well, Magneto is learning Electro Ball. And well, let's see. Electro Ball is... Okay, the user hurls an electric orb at the target. The faster the user... the target, Okay. Greater the damage. That could be... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep the old moves right here. And, well, let's see. Here comes an Air Slash. Does it, oh, yeah, it's really hitting our Pokemon right here. And Desert Storm has... Uh, well, it survived right there. So, let's go ahead and finish off this Ducklet right here. And let's go with a slash attack. Finish this guy off right here and rock slide to nobody. So there we go. Slash attack. Ducklet is about to faint. And here comes a flamethrower. Not going to make it faint just yet. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at that. Okay. Never mind. Okay. And Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 37. And Gigalith grows to level 34. Learning Mirror Move. I am not teaching him that because that that right there just uh, you know it, it's it's a it's a gamble, you know it really is a gamble using it and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Who's next? Uh, I think there's an item right there. There is. There's an. There's a nerd or there's a what was it called again? Uh, there's a preschooler or a nursery aid. So we're gonna have to heal up our Pokemon right here. Let's use the rest of our super potions on Desert Storm. That way, you know, it won't faint. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's just go right ahead and do that. Please don't have six Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, normally these Pokemon trainers have like six full Pokemon and it just, it, it gets so freaking annoying. So here she comes out with a Cleffa, level 34, and here he has Buckus, and well, fairy types don't take precedence just yet, so here comes a flamethrower attack, and that right there gives Cleffa 
uh, no more. There we go. And, well, here comes a Chinchino. So let's go straight to the Pokemon that can actually fix it up real quick right here. So switching out Budkiss. Let's go with Shadar. All right, Shadar. You got this. Chinchino. Chinchino. Sounds Italian. But guess what? High jump kick for the win. And a tail slap. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So that, that right there was hard. But this is harder. Giggity. There you go. Chinchino. Defeated. And again, it's probably a good thing that we're like we're actually training our Pokemon right now rather than later because, you know, yeah, the next gym leader is going to whoop us. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Crap baskets! That was a preschooler. Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Taking on preschooler Greg. And, well, he's coming out with a Simflora. All right, Simflora. Get ready to be burnt. Burnt to a crisp right here. So let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. And... Well, let's see. I forgot to mention what kind of Pokemon you can actually find in this area. Uh, Fungus is obviously one of them. Deerling, Tranquil, Watchogs, uh, Zangoose, and Zebstrika. And, well, let's see. This is an item, which is, an, which is a Leaf Stone. There is a Pokeball right up there, but don't be fooled, guys. That is another Fungus. You don't want to mess with that Pokemon now. This is the Celestial Tower right there, which uh, we will cover a little bit later. But we kind of need to battle uh, the rest of the Pokemon trainers right here. So let's see who we got. It's a Pokemon. He's a Pokemon. Or something like that. I don't know. So here is a preschooler. Her name is Christy. And here comes a Darumaka. Scary Pokemon. We actually did have a Darumaka on our team a while back. So here we go. Take down. And this takedown nearly makes him faint as well. Thrash attack, obviously. Hits us pretty hard. It is a gamble to actually use uh, the move that we're thinking of. So let's go straight for a side of the torrent right here. Okay. Alrighty, so here comes another thrash attack. Darumaka, high physical attack. It's just, it's crazy. It's really crazy that a whole bunch of strength comes from that little body right there. So here we go, Surf Attack. And the Surf Attack does its thing. Darumaka has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And Chrissy has been defeated herself. So, there we go. And there is an item right here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We have found ourselves an Elixir. Nice item right here. So, let's see. Route 7. You know, I'm crossing... I'm not even going through those little, uh, this little line right here. So, if you guys remember... Remember that. Get yourself that. So make sure to restore your Pokemon, uh, Pokemon's uh, health right here. Now, if you guys remember, this is the place where you will actually find out about, uh, what was it called? The Legendary Genies right here. Now, this guy right here is going to be telling you, Long ago, I was a sharp-looking young man, and my wife was a fine-looking girl. This is a story from way back then. Right around here, a certain Pokemon taught Tornadus and Thunders a lesson. For about 30 years after that, those two Pokemon kept kept it calm and quiet. I'll show you them to I'll, I'll show them to you. This is Tornadus. Okay, that's a Tornadus. This is Thunderous. Oh my God. And those have been uh, registered onto our Pokédex. And then this is the Pokemon that quieted those two Pokemon. And this is Landorus. Look at that. Okay. Now, if you guys remember, um. Tornadus and Thunderous, they were version exclusives, and I believe in Pokemon Black it was a Tornadus. And if you had both of those Pokemon, you would be able to find Landorus later on. And I don't think you can actually find them right here, but let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, yes. We need to heal up our Pokemon. Okay, so our Pokemon are healed, and let's see if this guy attacks us. I saw them. Their appearances were totally different, but they uh, must be Landorus, Tornadus, and Thunderous. Now, I think in this Pokemon game, you will actually find different versions of it. In the Unova region, you see there is a Pokemon called Thunderous and causes thunder. Another called Tornadus, it causes heavy rain. Why couldn't it be called Rainerous? I mean, why couldn't it be called... If, if, the, if it did, the, you know, if it did that, you know what I mean? Uh, and they fly around the region, letting the wild uh, winds loose while the rain pounds and lightning crashes. They ruin the crops, and I work so hard to raise. Yes, they are. Now, I don't think nothing will happen right here when it comes to those Pokemon. But if you go right here, the cross transceiver is going to be knocking at, or is going to be calling you. 
And it's our mama. And she's like, hi, it's your mom. Where are you now? Wow, Route 7, huh? That's amazing. How are, your po or how are you getting along with your Pokemon? You know, the reason you can uh, go to all these great places is because of your Pokemon. So always be grateful for them and take them straight to the Pokemon Center if they get hurt. And that's it from uh, the former Pokemon receptionist. Oh, that my mom was a Pokemon receptionist? Huh, that's, uh, that's brand new right there. Okay, so there's an item right here, and this guy is really creeping me out. Let's grab this. Found ourselves the TM81 X Scissors. And, well, there are two more trainers that we need to actually take on, so let's go right ahead and battle them. Uh, first is first. Let's go ahead and swap out our Pokemon right here. XC. Um, let's go with Gigalith. Yeah, these Pokemon are going to grow levels, and yes, we need a, another Repel because we don't need to... Oh, you suck. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay, so we just landed on... Oh, crap, Baskets. It's a Surviper. Okay, so Surviper, as many of you guys know, is a Pokemon, a Poison-type Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Has a blood battle against Zangoose, and just because it's a... Oh, crap, Baskets. It is a strong and hard-striking Pokemon right here. So let's go again with a Psybeam. Do not want to mess with this Pokemon right here. Imagine if this Pokemon came out in real life. I really do hate snakes, guys, and that's a Pokemon I do not wish to meet. As you can see... It gave us quite a few experience points, so that's uh, that's always a positive right there. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out to Shedar right here. Okay, so let's see. Battle these girls. Bring it on! Okay, so the two of us make an amazing combination. Let's battle! The teamwork of twins, a true example of perfection. Well, believe it or not, guys, I actually coached two pair of twins, which is hilarious. And they both... Oh, wow. Why would you... Okay, so that that right there is hilarious because it's like Zangoose and Surviper. It doesn't matter if, it, like, whatever version it is. Like, they both hate each other's guts. And in, in the wild, they actually try and kill each other. So, yeah. Okay, so here we go with the Volt Switch. I don't know why I use Strength on Surviper. Could have just used a Fighting-type move on this guy. So we're going to be switching up this guy. And... Let's go with Butkus right here, and Big Booty Butkus coming out, and here comes the Venishock from uh, Survivor. I'm surprised that these two Pokemon are actually working uh, well with each other. I isn't this kind of like an Oxymoron or something? I, I don't even know if that's what it is, and well, the Revenge Attack hits us. So let's go, no, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and use a Brick Break on this guy and a Flamethrower on that guy. So there we go, let's burn him to a crisp. Do you guys believe that in certain places in the world, this is totally random right here, uh, certain people or t certain cultures actually eat snakes and all that stuff? It's kind of weird, it's kind of, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of weird because it's like this is a very poke or a very uh, animal that like poisons you and stuff. Anywho, enough of that. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna battle that guy. He's yeah, he's he's a little too hard to actually to to get. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into the Celestial Tower, and we're gonna be trying well, we're gonna be seeing what Professor Juniper is doing all up all the way up there. Hopefully she's not smoking some dank or anything like that. And yes, this is not an item, guys. That is an actual Pokemon, so don't even try and get that Pokemon. And, well, just checking if there's any items right there. So, yes, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the Celestial Tower, and we will be figuring out what the heck is going up up there. So, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like all the videos and all that crud. And, well, you there's a heart notification right there or heart button if you guys want to donate something go right ahead and click on that little button i will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the celestial tower see you guys